How old is the oldest scrap of wood in your workshop or garage? I bet it's not as old as this beam. And from this beam, which is 100 years old, that's right, 100. Who knows how old the actual wood is? This guy is going to carve a pretty amazing and clearly very unique bowl for serving. And one of those things you need to consider when working with raw natural materials like wood are all the imperfections. You can see those dark spots. Some of them, of course, aren't going to be knots that have actually eaten through the wood or worn away spaces, but in the event that they have, well, wouldn't make it an ideal bowl for soup, let's say. They would, and they do, just make every single piece that much more unique. And a good idea and a pro tip when working with wood like this is to keep the sawdust. You can actually mix it with wood glue to create a filler for projects of similar wood. In fact, you can use it for any wood, but it suits the wood you're working with best. See now, some measurements made and some marks. And those are an excellent way to guide the process. And now that he's done with the bottom, it's time to bore away and carve out the center of that bowl. Which means mounting it the other way. And you can still see that old rough surface on that side. And just look at those amazing wood grains. The rings literally surrounding the bowl. And now with those imperfections and knots in the wood, he's got to be very careful not to make the walls too narrow or thin or risk cracking and breaking right through the bowl. He's carved his way most of the way down, then wears away the pillar in the center before slowly thinning the bowl as desired. And now a pretty handy way to wear a groove in it is with a steel cable while it's on the lathe. And again, while it's actually spinning, you see he also sanded it down. And now flip back over, he's back to work on the bottom of the bowl. And that's a pretty amazing final shape. Incredible. What would you make out of a 100-year-old bean? Let us know in the comments section.